Hello friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In this tutorial, I will show you how to upload any file that you create in your app to a folder in Google Drive. Let's look at the demo. I take a picture using the camera and I press the upload image button to upload it to Google Drive. I write something in the text box and press save file so that the text file is created and then I press the upload file to upload this text file to Google Drive. I record sound by pressing start recording button, testing 1, 2, 3 and press the stop and upload button to upload this audio file to Google Drive. Let me show you now the three different types of files uploaded to a folder in my Google Drive. Testing 1, 2, 3. So let's start with this project. In this video, I will work on the camera part from start to finish and in the next video, I will show you how to upload sound and text files. First of all, we need an extension for doing a special encoding of our files before uploading them to Google Drive. So go to this link, go down. I will give this link in the video description and download this AIX file and press on keep if it wants permission, okay? So it has been downloaded. Now open up MIT App Inventor, go to project, start a new project. Let's call it upload to G drive. Go down on the left hand side and choose extension, import extension and choose the AIX file that you just downloaded to your computer, press open and then press on the import button. It has been imported, so drag and drop it onto the viewer so that it has become a part of your project. Let's design the screen for the camera part. For screen run properties, make a line horizontal center. From user interface, drag and drop an image component, make height. 50% and width fill parent from layout drag and drop a horizontal arrangement below this image make height 13% width fill parent and make align horizontal and align vertical both center from user interface drag and drop a button rename it to take pick button and change the text on it in its properties to take pick. Okay. Again, drag and drop a button, rename it to upload pick button and change the text to upload pick. Okay. Now from media, drag and drop a camera. We need it for taking pictures. From connectivity, drag and drop a web component for communicating with Google Drive. And from sensors, drag and drop a clock sensor. We need it for generating a unique file name using a timestamp so that files are not overwritten in our Google Drive and every file has a unique file name. Okay? Now go to the block section and we are going to make two global variables. First is script URL and this will be an empty text block and duplicate it and this is the folder ID for our Google Drive. Okay, so what will come in our script URL? We need to write some JavaScript to communicate with our Google Drive. But don't be daunted by these steps. If you follow me very carefully, it will not be very difficult. So how to get this script URL? For our script, go to google.com and search for Google App Script. Okay, and choose this first search result. I will also give this link in the video description. Press the Start Scripting button. Press on this new project button. Let's rename our project to 
upload to G drive. Okay. And we have to write some code here. So let me copy it and paste the code here. Okay. Then I will give this code in the video description. Press on the deploy button. Choose new deployment. Select this type by pressing this cog wheel and choose web app. And this is important that who has access, it should be anyone. Not anyone with Google account, it should be anyone. And then press the deploy button. It will take a bit of time. Press this authorize access button and choose your Gmail account. And we have to verify this app. So press this advanced button and choose go to upload to G drive and allow it. Okay, all these steps have to be followed carefully. Now this is the URL for our web app. So copy it and press done and go back to MIT App Inventor and paste it for your script URL. Okay, now we come to the folder ID. So again, open up Google and click these dots here and choose Drive. And I will also give this link in the video description how to go to Google Drive. And now click on My Drive here and right click and make a new folder. And we are going to call it Upload from App Inventor. Okay, and then press Create. So the folder has been created. Okay, this one. And if I double click on it, I'm now inside this folder. Okay, and this is the folder ID. But before copying this folder ID, I have to change the access for this folder so that anyone can write to it. And for this, I need to share this folder. So right click on it and choose this share option. Okay. And a dialog will open up and change the general access to anyone with the link. And we have to also give the role to this anyone with the link. And the role is of an editor because we want anyone to upload files to our Google Drive folder. So we have to give these rights that general access is anyone with the link and the role is editor. Now press done. And now you copy this folder ID. We are inside our folder. This is the folder that we created and we shared. And now copy this after the last forward slash. So this is the last forward slash. So copy it from here. And come back to your App Inventor project and paste it for your folder ID. Okay. This done. Now we need a few more global variables. So go to variables, initialize a global variable. And this is image to upload. This will contain the file path of the picture taken by the camera. Okay. So we are going to make it an empty text block in the beginning. Right click, duplicate. This is the file name, the unique file name that we will be creating using our clock sensor. Again, right click, duplicate. This is the media type for our file that we are uploading to Google Drive. Now, when the take picture button is pressed, we want to tell the camera to take the picture. So choose the camera and call its procedure take picture. Okay, simple. Now this procedure after being successfully completed will trigger the event when camera dot after picture. And the image here is the location or the file path of where the picture taken by the camera has been saved. Okay, so what we're going to do is first of all, we are going to tell this image this image, the file path so that it starts showing the picture to the user. Okay, so set this image picture
to this image and we have gone over camera in quite detail in my camera tutorial and we have to set our image to upload to this file path 2 so that we are able to access it outside this after picture event okay once the user is satisfied with the picture taken he or she can upload the picture so get the upload pick button click event and inside here first of all we are going to generate or create a unique file name for our file to be uploaded to google drive and for that we are going to set it to a join from text of two things the timestamp and the file extension okay so if i go to clock i have this procedure called format date time this one and this will come in the first slot and this will format it in this way that is month date year hours minutes and seconds and this is a good example of a timestamp and what is the instant the instant is the current time so how to get the current time i go to clock and i use its clock dot now procedure okay so this will give us the timestamp and we have to join it with a text block that says underscore img to tell that it's an image dot jpg so this is the file extension this is important okay now we are going to set our media type so hover over it to get the set block for it and instead of hard coding it that it is an image i'm going to get it programmatically from a file name using the extension so using the extension get media type mime type block this one if i provided the file name it will get the extension from it and using that extension it will get the media type okay that done we have to now set our web components url to our script url so get its set block and we can go to variables and get the get block from here too and choose script url here next we have to post text to our web component in which we will actually send the image data to google drive through our web app and we have to give values for data mime type file name and folder id so go to web and get this call web.posttext block and inside this text it will be a join of eight slots so click on this cog wheel and start adding more slots to it so what is the first slot the first slot is our file name so go to text and get it to be file name all in lower case and then equal to okay and this is the actual file name okay then we have our folder id so duplicate it and change it to and because this is the second one so we have to separate it using and folder and then i is capital and d equal to and how am i getting these names the, the names i'm getting it for my script so you can see that this is folder i capital and then d okay and what is the folder id again it's a variable so i can duplicate and choose folder id here and then the media type mime type so again and m i type no capital letter or lower case okay and this is also global variable that we set over here so choose mime type here the seventh slot is a text block that says data so we are coming close to our actual data the image data and choose data is equal to here so make sure that you write it exactly this way and the actual data this slot is important as we have to encode our image here so click on web and get its 
URI encode procedure. So this one and this expects a text block and here we will use our extension to encode it to base64. Okay, so click on this extension and choose its procedure file to string direct. Okay, so this expects the path of the file. So we can directly give it the image upload file, but then there's a problem with it. If I had used a notifier to see what is inside my this image to upload path that it got from this file path, I would have seen that it is written something like this file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash. So there are three of them. We need to trim this file path and remove file colon slash slash so that it becomes something like this. So we have to do some editing in our path file. So go to text and get its replace all text block. Okay. And here we are going to provide it our image to upload path. This one. So let me duplicate this one and change it to image to upload. And we are going to get rid of that extra file colon slash slash and change it by replacing it with an empty text block. So that will get rid of file colon slash slash. And now we have a good path to give to our file to string direct procedure and it will encode it and this thing is ready. So final upload pick button now looks like this. Okay, let's clean up the blocks. Okay, so this is done for the camera part of uploading pictures to Google Drive and let's test it out. As you can see that I can take as many pictures as I want and once satisfied, I can press on the upload pick button and let's open up our Google Drive to see if that image has been uploaded to our folder here. And yes, it has been uploaded successfully. My next video will be a continuation of this tutorial and we will work on adding sound and text uploading to Google Drive in it. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like my teaching style and are benefiting from my tutorials, please support my work by buying me a cup of coffee. The link is in the video description. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the great projects that I've planned for you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.